Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Lauren. I am a college junior and a theater major. I do college and organization videos here on the channel. Today is a little night routine, fall edition, I guess like Halloween edition. I just came back from rehearsals. So I have rehearsals and I finish at 10 p.m. every day. I come back home like really exhausted. I really try to take these moments and be present and create like a little routine for myself so that I can decompress. A lot of my classes are very physical. So I really try to make an effort to relax my body at night. So I will take a warm hot shower. Some days I will do a little meditation or I will take an extra long shower. I will stay up so late just because I want the specific time for myself. So to avoid that, I really try to focus on a routine every night. That's kind of what I wanna show you guys today. So today I came to school with these little ghosties. So to set the mood, I am going to turn on all of my little Halloween lights. The other day I decorated this room for Halloween and it was like the best best little cozy night. I put on Hocus Pocus and I just decorated my room and it was like the best thing ever. So I just put all my stuff down and normally for this past week, I've been turning on these purple lights that I have on my vanity. I will turn on my LED lights to like this red color. It'll be like a mix of like purple and red in here. So it's like this very cool Halloween-y ambiance. And then after I turn on my lights, I go shower so that when I come back into this room, I feel like the warmth of being all clean. Yes, just trying to heighten the experience. Yes. So I just came out of the shower. Fan turns on with the light, so it might be a little bit loud in here, but after I come out of the shower, I always do my little skincare routine. I try to keep it simple. I usually either put on my Curology or I put on a serum before I put on my Curology. I'm doing the Selfless by Hiram Exfoliating Serum. I've had this for a while and it just never runs out. I feel like it takes forever to run out, so whenever I feel like exfoliating, I use it, and I've had it for like a year and a half. I'm trying to keep it real. I usually don't put on moisturizer right now because Curology is fine if you don't put moisturizer afterwards. is a little rough here but this is my dinner my mom keeps making me dinner and i love her this is kind of like a fried rice with garbanzo beans and then there's a fried egg it is like 11 30 p.m i barely have any time after i eat dinner to watch tv or do anything if i have class the next day because i wake up at 7 a.m and i want to try to at least get seven hours of sleep so i have to fall asleep at midnight it just gets stressful because i don't want to eat in a rush but i also want to sleep enough so trying to find that balance right now but I'm gonna go ahead and eat some dinner I'll catch up with you guys later
lights a little bit so you guys can see me, but usually it's a lot darker in here. There's the little red purple mood. This is like my bliss state. Like nobody talked to me. I'm just like done for the day. So I have a lot of things going on in my life right now. I think trying to be present in every aspect of every day really helps me differentiate those two aspects of my life. So when I'm at home, I'm home and I'm like fully present in this moment because if I start to think about other things, I won't let my mind rest. So when I'm physically resting, I'm mentally resting and I'm spiritually resting. I made myself a little chamomile tea today. Helps me relax. Sometimes I have peach tea. Sometimes I have mint. I love peppermint tea. I don't do this every day, but at least once or twice a week, I always have a drink or a tea with me here in bed. I'm gonna put like a Goosebump episode. I don't know if you guys read the Goosebump books when you were younger. I used to read them all the time in third grade. And like, I think back in the early 2000s, they made like a bunch of different episodes of all of the books of very Halloween-y and I like them because they're about like an hour or 40 minutes long so it's not like I'm watching a whole entire movie so I can just like put something like Halloween-y and not have to dedicate almost two hours to a movie and then I can just like go to bed in like 40 minutes so it took me like half an hour to eat because I was just watching YouTube videos and relaxing I think lately because I've been doing a lot of things this was the perfect video to make for me right now initially I was gonna vlog today but as the week progressed just everything became a lot more busy decompressing and having the whole night to myself to just film a video was a lot more fitting for this week so I hope you guys enjoyed it also the glare in my glasses is annoying but I just took off my contacts and if I take off my glasses I cannot see myself in the viewfinder I think the camera's a little crooked Okay, I think that's a little better. I'm very much an iced drink person. Iced coffee, iced matcha, iced chai. But for some reason, when it comes to teas, I like teas that are hot more than iced teas. And I've been also trying to take some vitamin C's and I'm trying to look after my immune system. I mean, it's that time of year. It's like flu season. So occasionally taking a vitamin C, just trying to take care of myself. I'm really asking a lot from my body lately, especially with rehearsals and the classes that I'm taking i'm constantly moving my body from like 9 a.m 1 p.m and then again from 3 to 10 p.m so the majority of my day is movement based so when i get home i like fully relax and i'm trying to implement something i'm trying to do something to help my throat because when i come back from rehearsal my throat is really dry because i've just been speaking a lot i don't want the stress to weaken my immune system because I don't want to get sick because then I can't perform. It's just like a lot of aspects. Also, I'm that type of person that is like really picky about tea being too hot. I will literally have water boiling hot and I won't drink it until like 15 minutes later until I can like touch it and not burn my tongue. But I like to do that so it gives me a lot of time to like put something on to watch. If you guys are doing anything specific for your night routine, specifically if you're a college student, let me know because I want to find ways to be able to relax more and I just don't want to get too stressed out. I already have enough going on as it is so I don't want to add on to anything else. All right I'm gonna get out of here because my back is killing me because I'm like sitting in a weird position. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like this video because that's how you let me know. Subscribe for more videos like these and hit the little bell notification next to the subscribe button so that you get notified every single time I post. I post every single Sunday and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.